most people have a story of how they came to YouTube. Mine is quite interesting and different. Um, for, a, for a while, I have had the um, learning disability of sorts and a speech disability. I have gone through many weeks and months at a time of speech therapy. If you've noticed in my past videos, I do have a, um, a uh, often noticed stutter. But um, that's kind of what kept me from doing YouTube in the first place. Um, when I was doing the research and I was kind of getting my bearings on YouTube and figuring out what, what I wanted to do, a, um, a man saw uh, a video that I accidentally released and he said, I noticed you stutter. I said, yes, I do. It's kind of apparent, isn't it? And so he said, try this. Delete your last video, start fresh, and look at your camera and just talk random sentences, random things, random words, and catch yourself. In my case, when I say catch myself, um, my beginning sounds like TH, sometimes WH, a lot of times I. Um, and there's other words that you'll notice in my videos along the way. And um, he said, do me a favor. Replace those words like the TH sounds, there, this, that, so on. And replace those words with more familiar words that do not include TH, WH, and so on. So began my journey to make a video stutter free and very much to the point. And um, my very first week I was commended. People who even know me in life, they say, what are you doing? You sound much better and you don't stutter. Well, I tell them, YouTube. And they said, please explain that. And I said, well, a man that I never knew my first week on YouTube when I was in the experimental stage, he told me what I said earlier on in this video. To replace the beginning sounds of words that make me trigger a stutter. And just take them out altogether and use new words. And so ever since then, I have taken that to heart and I have done very well ever since then. I know people out there have um, gone through the same same thing I have, like um, going to speech therapy, having uh, whether it's Medi-Cal, Medicare, well in my case Medi-Cal in California, Medicare, your insurance, your disability, and so on. They paid for it, but to what extent? Not very long. Speech therapy is an ongoing thing. They want us to go to a college, take a course there, in speech therapy of course. They want us to learn speech therapy there, and then they, um, or they send us to a hospital or a doctor to take uh, speech therapy, which could last about two to three weeks at best, for the longest six, if your insurance is to pay for that. But that's not often the case. You'll get halfway through, and they'll, um, you know, say that's all I can pay for. But think about this. Mel Tillis said it best. I'm not going to emulate his stutter because that'll be defeating the purpose of this video. When you um, when you sing, you don't stutter, 
and the question is why. I did not know this until Mel Tillis brought it up. He said, when you talk, you stutter. When you sing, you don't. The reason why is because one side of the brain is artistic. The other side is speech. When you use those two together, in this case, when you sing, you don't stutter at all. Why? Because the brain is working both hemispheres at one time, together, as one. So for those who are like me and have um, speech issues, try this. When you, If you don't have YouTube yet, or if you don't have the courage to do this, when someone says, we're going to go to karaoke, come with us, sing. You do that. You follow them. Sing for about an hour on end, or at least two, whatever your comfort level is. And in three or four hours time, your friends, your family, your relatives will notice that you have defeated speech therapy. You have conquered stuttering. How? Because you were singing using both sides of the hemispheres of the brains. And um, you have, for the moment, conquered speech. You did not stutter in the time frame. And you'll notice later on that the more you sing and then give it a few hours break, you are fluent for a very lengthy time, about four hours plus. When you're around friends and family, pick the ones that you see often. You look into those people and you get a comfort level with that person or people or, or persons. You get a comfort level with them and you see them often. Therein lies the key to opening speech to that person or per persons. You speak to them most often and therefore, therefore you're comfortable with them, speaking to them, and you've achieved a pattern. Whereas the people you know you, you don't see all the time, like you know, you you often see co-workers, schoolmates, classmates, college mates, so on. The ones you see most often, those are the ones you'll be comfortable with. The ones you don't see very often, you need to work on that. So Next time you're with someone, make sure they stare you in the face. You have eye-to-eye -eye contact. That is the key to speech therapy or speech. Let me let me uh, give you an example. When someone is talking to you, don't be doing this because that loses your concentration. When they look away from you, it's like I got better things to do because you're stuttering. No. Make sure they are staring you in the face, eye to eye contact, and they will notice that you will have a more fluent pattern of speech. Try this sometime. Now, back to the basics. Okay, supposing you're not ready for YouTube yet, but you do want to bypass the speech therapy sing 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 whether it's in the shower whether you are with friends whether you are listening to the radio or CD in this case because uh, you want to just sing along to anything you can when a friend drops by they will be impressed because you are not stuttering and remember when you go out to karaoke Go along, be part of the be part of the fun. Sing with them. Hours later, they'll say, "You don't stutter. What happened?" And you tell them what I just said. Most people will not understand this, but on a science level and medical, it all makes sense. Again, in uh, a wrap up, when you talk, you're using one side of the brain. When you sing, you use the other side of the brain, but together as one. And you'll notice that when you sing, 
you are slowing down. Well, unless you use rock. That's another story. But still, <laughs> but still, even ro a rock song in karaoke, you are singing the words. You're not a words. But try that next time. Next time you do karaoke, sing along. When someone asks you, go for it. Hours later, they'll wonder where your stutter went. And um, you'll be much wiser for the, uh, for the better. Because you took the path to stopping stuttering and made it more clearer that you want to do something about it. I hope you appreciated this video as much as I have, have done making it. As you will notice at the end of this video, I started a mild stammer or stutter. But um, I had the safety net and I recovered. I stopped for a moment, I paused and went on with my sentence. That's another thing. Have a safety net, take a breath, and then continue on and you won't stutter. Trust me, it works. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below and a like. Thank you.